Hey everyone, Darren Atkins here. This is my blog one post for real world learning. The online tech tool that I'm going to show you to use today is Canva and on Canva we are going to create an infographic. Um, an infographic is just a collection of images and charts and minimal text that gives you an easy to understand preview um, of the topic that you're going to discuss. So for my topic today I picked the solar system and then I would have students research just the different planets and they present at least you know, four to five interesting facts about their planet that they could present to present to the class just to give the students a quick understanding of that planet. And what I'll do today is just navigate you through how to design that template. Okay, it's really easy to use. And the first thing that you'll do is want to log in with your Google account on Canva. So if students have a Google account, you can log in. I'll use mine quickly. And then from here, we're just going to go and create that infographic. So here's the home screen for Canva. Um, at the top, you have the different uh, templates that you can go through. As you can see, they offer a wide variety of different things for education. So you can do lesson plans, worksheets, uh, you can create posters and flyers for marketing. Uh, for business, you can see you can do presentations of websites. So just a lot that you can do uh, with this tool. Like I said, today we're gonna do an infographic. So when you click, they already have some preloaded templates that you can use. Um, so if you didn't want to, if you have enough time for students to create their own infographic, you can just select one that you see and you can modify it. Um, but just for today, we will use a blank one. And then I also wrote down some facts um, that I'll use uh, about Mars. So I went ahead and researched a little bit about Mars myself. So when you first go to the blank template, you'll see that on the side here, they still offer those design templates so you can modify. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so we can see here. So uh, you'll see those design templates, but just to the left of it there, you can see that you can add your own photos, your own elements. Those are things like shapes and stickers, your own text. You can even add audio um, or videos. So the first thing that I would probably do is maybe if you want to go ahead and put in a photo of your planet so students can go log in or click on the link for photos. See, they already have some preloaded images there. You can also search. So let's just say, uh, type in Mars and see what we find. There's a picture of Mars. You can click on the one that you like and it's inserted in and you can blow it up, adjust the size, okay, wherever you want, would like to put it. Okay, students can go ahead and put a black background on there as well. Okay, if they wanted to add something, maybe just a white background um, to that infographic there just to give a little more color. Okay, and you can blow it up to fit so students can play around with that to decide how they want the size. So if I was going to add my title to my infographic, you can see there's the main heading and the subheading. And they also have some different design tools at, as you scroll to the bottom. Okay. For writing styles there. So I'll just add a basic heading. So you just click to add to the page. And then I'll just say all about Mars. And students can place that wherever they want. If you want to put it above your image, just make sure it's fitting on that infographic there. And then from there, you can just add um, your tidbits or your facts about okay, um, your planet. So the cool thing that I like is that there's already that design templates in case you didn't have a lot of time to create your own, but it also gives you that chance to do it. So they all have lines, like I said, shapes and frames, just to kind of help you um, design your infographic. And then also, you can also adjust your, your font. So if you wanted to, students want to be kind of creative with their font as well. Can change the font and the size and color of your text. So let's see, I'll go ahead and just write an interesting fact here. So we'll say, so we know that Mars is a desert world and it's red because of the iron, okay, the rusty iron in the planet. So let's all add another text box. So if we do a subheading. Oops. Let's see here. 
there we go, add a subheading, and I'll see uh, interesting fact. We'll say Mars is a desert. Number that if you like. Just there's an interesting fact there. Okay. And like I said, you can adjust that size so students can adjust it if they like. So make it a little smaller so it fits the page. And if you wanted to get different with the font, you can also do that. I like the look of the gag one there. That's nice. So Mars is a desert world. So just a quick, easy fact for students to view. You can also add in another image if you like. You can even change the color of the text. So if I want to do red, since it's a kind of a red planet, you can do that as well. So um, it also gives you features for audio. So if you want to insert some music into the infographic as well to present, and then there's also a chance for um, you to upload uh, videos too. So this is the basics of the infographic. Like I said earlier at the video, this is just another great res online resource tool to use for presentations and posters, um, even develop lesson plans. So hope you guys enjoyed my post. We'll tune in next time for blog number two. Thanks.